You load 16 tons and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter don't call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I was devastated by the loss of Brad and Tara and would never be the same again. It also triggered an early midlife crisis, and I put the business up for sale, focusing on my music career. Sleep well and when you dream. A.G. Oye, the maestro of the Minnesota Orchestra, told me that I had a unique and exceptionally beautiful singing voice. Now, coming from a Leonard Bernstein protege and the maestro of the orchestra, helped confirm that maybe I could make a career from it. The next thing I knew I was performing with the orchestra, Grand Teton Music Festival in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, the Erie Philharmonic, and the Hanover Radio Philharmonic in Germany. But I wasn't welcomed everywhere. That Christmas, my piano teacher asked me to sing for the Christmas Eve service in my hometown. And I have to admit, I wasn't completely surprised to experience this. Is a Minnesota church guilty of discrimination or just following the Bible? Christopher Hopkins can pray at the Church of Christ in Redwood Falls, but he's been banned from singing before the congregation because he is gay. WCCO's Jim King has more. Climb to care someday. Someone With a voice like that, one would think you'd be accepted anywhere. Well, long as he stays away from me. <laughs> he should be able to sing. We'll find a way of forgiving. Actually, it's not the voice, but the man behind the voice that has the town of Redwood Falls talking. One of the few disadvantages of a small town is if you're a nonconformist way, uh, you can run into some problems. You're halfway there. The problem for Christopher Hopkins began in his hometown of Redwood Falls at the Church of Christ, the very place where he was baptized. A church member invited him to sing at their Christmas Eve ceremony, but although the sign may say all are welcome, the church elders think differently and pulled the invitation. The reason is because he's gay. The situation is about intolerance. It's about bigotry and hatred. It's about people assuming they have the right to dismiss another human being based on their opinion of what is right and wrong. The church pastor has refused to discuss the issue and did not appear to be home when we knocked at his door. The church doors were locked and church members we spoke with did not want to comment. But some members of the community were not shy. I don't accept the lifestyle, but uh, he's serving, that's his gift. He's serving God with his voice. Somewhere. Christopher will be singing in church. A Stillwater church has invited him to perform on Christmas Eve. Ah, that sound, you can almost smell it. So amidst all of this, I decided to record a jazz album. But I certainly was not prepared for what I was going to get into. Let's just say that. I introduce to all of you a friend of mine, Christopher Hopkins. stars out tonight, that certain night. This track, however, was nominated for the Gay Lesbian American Music Awards in New York City. How proud I was to be nominated in the company of such notables as... There were angels dining at the Ritz And a nightingale sang Everything special about tonight. Christopher, of course, first of all, what a wonderful accomplishment. We're so proud, aren't we, Dad? Yes. Well, it just... As Mike has always said, I've never been anything but proud of him, and tonight is just it's very special. It's the only man I know that's never disappointed me. So. <laughs> 
Christopher has worked hard and long, and he is a firm believer that if you want something badly enough, you have to go after it and make it happen. And he has made this happen all by himself tonight. I think what I always say, sing like an angel, and be happy, enjoy it, have fun. Just do it, and he does, he does it well. Thank you very much. I've been looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing Hopefully I can make this be my full-time job. Thanks for your support. To the company store.